Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the Ramsey Custom Shop. This is Gary. And one of my viewers, David, YouTube viewers, David, uh, fellow Texan, sent me this drawing and he's got a project he's working on. He's going to need a handful of these uh, valve knobs here that he's created. And I like you to just take a look at the level of detail that he put into this hand drawing. I mean, this is kind of a lost start now. Everybody, you know, including myself, bangs out stuff in CAD. And this is a very nicely done drawing that he did by hand. So we're going to jump over into Fusion 360 and see if we can get this sketched up into a solid model and then cut on our new CNC fiber laser. All right, guys, here we are over in Fusion 360. And I just want to say I am, I am, this is not a Fusion 360 tutorial. I use it on a regular basis, but I am by far not in a position to teach somebody else how to use it because I don't always use it the right way. Uh, but I use it to get the things done that I need to do. So really this design is uh, the only tools that we're using in here are rectangles and circles. The whole thing is basically rectangles and circles. And then, uh, you know, just come back and trim out what you don't need. I did use uh, center rectangles and so that you could, you know, do the crosshairs and line them up, but it did create a bunch of extra construction lines. But here you go, you see it's all sketched up now and uh, just a little uh, extrusion to see, you know, kind of what it would look like in a 3D solid. Not that we need that for, you know, for cutting it, but um, yeah, so let's go to the laser and get it cut. So I think we'll cut this out of some 16 gauge cold roll just to kind of get a feel for the setup and all before we do it in uh, thicker steel. All right, so I was pretty happy with this uh, little template, you know, example that we made. And uh, so we threw some quarter inch plate up on the table and really had some quite a bit of difficulty getting the piercing routine set with the right parameters and getting the handle on that. Uh, I wasted a bunch of material and hopefully I didn't do any damage, but you see those sparks and all with the big pierce, it should not be doing that. but. Anyway, we got 10 of these cut, and these are going to go out to David. Everything looks good, uh, clean on both sides. Great quality cuts. Thanks, guys.